now we will see how to customize a lead form so here we will see how to add a new field how to add a drop down field how to rename a existing field how to change the order of the field change the position of the field and we will also see the various field properties so if you log into the crm system this is the lead screen that's available in the bottom you will see something called settings so if you go to settings and go to administration so if you are logged in as an admin user then only you will see this you will have something called field customization here this is how here you can change the way you can create a new field or you can change the existing fields or you can change the properties all these things you can do it here so we will see everything step by step the first requirement for us is we will add a new text field called city right so what we will do we will take city okay we will create a new field name called ct1 okay and then it's a text field and which group okay i will show you the lead screen this is the existing lead screen this is what is called group there is a group here you have one field here this group right so lead info is one group we have some set of fields here there is another group here so basically all the fields are groups categorized are into the groups so if you, if you see here so now where the city has to be added. so let us add this in the lead info this is the right place right so what we will do we will add it in the lead info so we will add a name called city1 so i'm just giving uh, the name as city1 so we will see prominently there is this a mandatory field so we will make it mandatory which means uh, whenever you create a lead this city1 has to be entered so is needed for mass edit so if you see here so there is something called mass edit right so if you go here these are all the fields available in the mass edit you can change the source or all these things now this particular field city1 whether it has to come into mass edit if you add here it will come into mass edit here so we don't need this in mass edit then there is something called search mode so if you go to search so basically you have these many fields in the basic search and then you have a lot of fields in the advanced search right so now whatever new field you are adding whether it has to come here in the search whether it has to come here in the search that we will check here yes we will put it in the all the search you want it in the basic search then it will appear only in this part right so now we will put it in all no means it will not appear in the search at all so need in lead automation so do you want this city uh, if you are capturing the city from the external lead like facebook or google or your landing page then this field from there it will come and get stored in the crm here in this scenario for our scenario we don't need it in the lead automation we are just trying to create a new field for the user to manually enter so we'll keep the column with as default now let us press save changes so now we will go to the leads and we'll try to create a new lead now now if you see here see we are we are getting something called city1 which is what we have created there and uh, if you go to search you will see city1 here and uh, you you will see the city1 here also in the advanced search so now we have created a field we have added in all these places right so we added a new field and we have we have put it in the all the uh, places like mass edit search lead automation all we have learned now now we will go to the next part all right so we will again go to the field customization we will try to learn how to create a drop down form so previously we have created one field called city1 which is a text field now we will create one drop down or we call it as pick list also we will try to create in the same lead info we will create something called product so let us say you are selling multiple products right so you sell laptop lad then we will sell pc let's say you sell, you sell server so we have, we can add multiple things and you can change the order which has to come server has to come first or whatever you can change like this and again the same properties like whether it's mandatory it's needed in mass edit and all these things you need to fill and then you can press save this now if you go to the lead screen 
let's go to the lead screen and we will press add now if you see here you can see the new drop down that we have created laptop pc server it has come here same way it has come in the basic search also so now we have seen how to add a drop down called a product which is laptop or pc we will learn the other parts how to rename a field how to move the field change the position so go to lead administration and field customization now let us see how to rename this particular city one right so to rename just press edit now you can change this to city two you want to change you don't want to make it mandatory you can change. do whatever changes you want and now the changes happen it becomes city two so you want to hide this field let's say we want to hide this product field which we created just press hide so now this field will be hidden same way let us say this city is in the last uh, right uh, is the last field in that group so we want to just move this one level up we can move like this you can put it in the top also or you can put it in the bottom like that you can change same way you you want to change the group name also you can go and change the group name like this this column layout means how many columns should come into the group also you can change so let's say this is one sample right so here in the lead info basically it's a two columns right this is one column this is one column so this is basically a single column which means you will see a large field like that so now here we have keep it two column you can make it one column also if you want this is how you rename the group show default means so this is the default view so there are certain groups that is not used frequently so what you can do you can remove that show default so it will it will get hidden here so only when a user press this more detail you will see this type of fields so normally the system fields are fields related to marketing data that is not required in the day, day to day data entry so you put it in the non default so it will go into this more details that's a usage of this show default so now we have learned how to rename a field how to hide a field how to change the position of the field all these things you can do so this is how you can change various things in the lead now we will also see how this what are the changes we have done to how to enable these changes so let's press save changes the whole layout is updated and let us lead screen and we will open up a new lead we'll see what all the changes so we have seen the city 1 we rename to city 2 here we had a product which we have changed like that whatever we have changes we have done it got reflected now this is how you do lead uh, form customization so all these fields that you are creating newly will be appearing in the reports also so you can create any report out of the new fields that you are creating in the software thank you